Welcome to Par Podcast, episode 74.61. Par Podcast is an audio supplement for Public Administration Review, the premier professional journal in the field of public administration. In 2015, Par will celebrate 75 years of furthering public administration research, theory, and practice. This episode features comments by Qian Hu, Assistant Professor of Public Administration at the University of Central Florida. Professor Hu discusses her article titled, What Have We Learned Since September 11, 2001? A Network Study of the Boston Marathon Bombings Response. Professor Hu's co-authors on this article include Claire Connolly Knox, Assistant Professor in the Emergency Management and Homeland Security Program Coordinator at the University of Central Florida's School of Public Administration, and Niam Kapachu, a full professor of public policy and administration, also at the University of Central Florida School of Public Administration. This article is currently available on Early View and will be printed in Public Administration Review, Issue 74, Volume 6. Professor Hu reviews the major changes in federal emergency management policies and frameworks since September 11, 2001, and assesses the effectiveness of interorganizational coordination and collaboration in response to the Boston Marathon bombings. In light of recent disasters, we still need more research on how organizations effectively coordinate and collaborate throughout disaster preparedness, mitigation, response, and recovery. In this research, our research team assessed the effectiveness of interorganizational coordination and collaboration in response to the Boston Marathon bombings. We examined how local emergency management has evolved since September 11 and what lessons emergency managers can draw from the Boston Marathon bombings response. The bombings at the Boston Marathon on April 15, 2013 caused three deaths and wounded 264 people. While this incident demonstrated the vulnerability of communities to man-made disasters, immediate reaction from multiple government agencies and nonprofit and community-based organizations showed the timely communication and coordinated efforts of disaster response participants. Boston is one of four U.S. cities with a all-hazards plan accredited by the Emergency Management Accreditation Program. The Boston Marathon bombings incident provided us an opportunity to reflect on how changes in federal emergency management policies since the September 11 attacks have influenced local emergency management practice. The terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 is one of a few focusing events that led to radical policy and institutional changes. These changes include the establishment of the Department of Homeland Security, the restructuring of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, and the evolution of multiple national emergency management policies. More importantly, over the past decade, the emergency management system has gradually shifted from a centralized control and command system to a more collaboration pro- approach. Increased attention has been given to capacity building in local communities and engaging a broad spectrum of stakeholders in emergency management. Our research applied a social network analysis to compare the disaster response networks embodied in formal disaster preparedness plans with the actual response networks. Through systematic content analysis of the emergency operation plan, situation reports, after action reports, and the national and local newspaper articles, we identified a list of 100 38 organizations involved in disaster response and initial recovery during and after the Boston Marathon bombings. We analyzed Boston's emergency operation plan to understand the roles and responsibilities defined in formal government documents and the collaborations between organizations with primary functions and organizations serving the support functions. Then we reviewed the situation reports from Boston's Office of Emergency Management after action reports from the Federal Bureau of Intelligence and American Red Cross and 195 newspaper articles to capture actions organizations took when they responded to the Boston Marathon bombings and during the immediate recovery stage. 
Reflecting on the Boston Marathon bombing's response, several lessons can be drawn. Boston local government successfully engaged in disaster preparation throughout planning, training exercises, and effective communication. Since the September 11 attacks, local emergency planning has transitioned into a more formalized, systematic, and institutionalized process. Boston is one of the most prepared cities for emergencies. Through building disaster response networks, organizations effectively coordinated or collaborated in response to the bombings. This strong collaboration between law enforcement agencies contributed to completing the manhunt in two days. Another highlight in the incident was the cross-sector collaboration of health and medical service providers to serve the impacted individuals and community. Frequent and regular information sharing, communication, and collaboration between medical service agencies and emergency management organizations help them effectively coordinate their efforts to meet the medical needs of the injured during the incident. Furthermore, the case demonstrates that the whole community approach to emergency management encourages government at all levels. Nonprofit organizations and private organizations to collaborate with each other in disaster response and immediate recovery. The incident illustrates the important role of nonprofits, private organizations, and local communities in emergency management. For example, during the incident, American Red Cross actively participated in responding to the incident by collaborating with the Boston Athletic Association to redirect runners from the site to reunite with their families and friends. Providing meals and snacks to people in the impacted area, mobilizing volunteers in response vehicles, and working with Dunkin' Donuts and state police to help feed first responders. This example is one of many in which nonprofits were deeply involved in helping local residents and the community deal with the tragedy and begin the long-term recovery process. Another example is the establishment of the Van Fund Boston. In response to the request from Governor Patrick and Boston Mayor Manino, the community created One Fund Boston to help victims and families impacted by the Boston Marathon bombings. Multiple private businesses have committed to this social inter- enterprise, and it raised more than sixty billion dollars, million dollars, sixty million dollars. Hence, many leaders accredit the. Collaboration between stakeholders and highlight the benefits of a whole community approach as primary reasons for successful response efforts. In short, the timely response to the incident is attributable to the long-term institutionalized planning efforts, multiple platforms established for frequent interorganizational interactions through formal plans, training, and exercises prior to disasters, and a integrated communication system. This concludes Par Podcast, episode seventy four point six one. To listen to additional episodes and learn more about Public Administration Review, please visit us online at publicadministrationreview.org. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at PA Review. Thanks for listening.